Good morning, Zio here. And uh, today we're talking about Blizzard and Diablo 2. Uh, resurrected. The remake. The remaster. The redone. I, I still can't separate those terms anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what we're talking about. So uh, grab yourself some coffee. Sit back, relax, and uh, let's get into it, shall we? Now, this right here, this is what developers should be doing, right? Um, we've seen it in the past where players will raise concerns about something. They'll say something, they don't like this, that, and the other. This is off for the brand. This isn't anything like you've done before. And, you know, you've pretty much left us with no real explanation other than get over it. Um, and then you've got developers who will pretty much say, well, if you don't like it, don't buy it. And then nobody buys it and it becomes the worst selling one in the series and all this other stuff. And then they're sitting there going, we have no idea why nobody would buy it. Oh, it's because they're a bunch of, you know, words. <laughs> Ists, phobes, incels, this, that, and the other, blah, blah, blah. We've heard it before. We've heard that song and dance. But this, this right here is more what they should be doing right here, you know, because um, it, I'm, we've talked about it before. Diablo 2 Resurrected is being done, but it's not being done by Blizzard themselves. Uh, you know, it's being done by Vicarious Visions. Um, Vicarious Visions. Vicarious Visions, right? Um, wow. Yeah, Vicarious Visions, okay. <laughs> I had to think, I was thinking, no, isn't that Vicarious Studios, not Visions? Where? Anyway, so my brain farted for a second and just cut out. Uh, but yeah, it's being handled by Vicarious Visions, uh, not exactly Activision Blizzard. Of course, Activision Blizzard did provide all the stuff that they need in order to do it, and they're doing a faithful recreation with censorship, of course, which we did talk about. Uh, various things, this, that, and the other, which reminds me, that's what we're talking about tomorrow, Blizzard and censorship and and virtual signaling, virtualists, virtualists. <laughs> that's the new word, virtualists. Uh, anyway, no, but seriously. Mm. Let's take a look here. The design director of the upcoming D2 remake explained that folks trying to decide if they should buy the game should do what they feel is right. There is no, if you don't like it, don't buy it. There is no, you need to buy your thing because Blizzard property or anything like that. It's just do what you feel right. You know, they understand. Uh, many players don't want to support Activision Blizzard games after a recent lawsuit that made public horror story or public uh, horrible stories and claims of abuse and harassment mostly targeted towards women at the company. That's, that is a great way to put that. I'm not going to lie. Uh, you know, there's nothing really to pick apart there or anything. It, it's true. Uh, everything in the lawsuit pretty much mostly is about Blizzard treating their female employees like shit, among other things, and doing horrible things. In which, you know, a lot of people don't want to support Blizzard or Activision Blizzard and Activision at this moment in time. This is why Activision has scrubbed its name from the newest Call of Duty title plate, where it normally would say Activision down at the bottom here. It's not there if you go take a look from uh, what they were showing off. It's been scrubbed. The Activision logo and everything completely gone because they don't want people to associate you know, a uh, Call of Duty with Activision, even though Activision is the parent company of the company that's technically making Call of Duty, and it should be there. Um, because Activision has a very, very bad taste in everybody's mouth right now. There's no pun there. Anyway. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's about it. Um, I think this is pretty classy right here. Um, you know, this, this is how you should be talking to your customer base. It's like, 
you know, Vicarious Visions, if you've been following their development for this, they are very excited about being able to handle this. Uh, you know, of course, they've had to make some things happen to tone down some stuff because of, what is it, Western sensibilities or some bullshit like that. Um, but aside from that, they really are excited about doing this. They have plans for the future. They've talked about putting in new things into the game that didn't exist. Uh, they talked about taking everything that used to be just ladder only, making sure it's available in single player. So you don't have to feel like you have to do the ladder. And, you know, when it comes down to Diablo games, to be totally honest, I love the ladder, but I hate the three or so month cycle of the ladder in modern games. Um, you know, back in Diablo 2, for the years that I played it, they had a ladder, but I don't think the ladder ever reset. If it did, it reset it a few times at some point before I started playing, maybe, or maybe it was after I played or whatnot. But, you know, my character on the ladder had been on the ladder for the entire time that I was playing. I don't know how they were handling it back then. Um, you know, so it, it was fine for me to play on it then, but... I, I honestly hate the three-month cycle thing, but I know there are people who do love that, where they can then redo everything and stuff, but I've just never been a fan of that. That's just me. I, I want to make the character. I want him to be permanently on the ladder, to strive for whatever, and stay on the ladder, and not just reset the ladder in the three-month span, especially if for whatever reason I can't play for a month, which happens regularly, where I can't play anything for a while. Uh, because of, you know, so much that's going on and then trying to do it. Anyway, aside from all of that. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I, this is the right thing to do. Uh, or the right thing to say, anyway. They seem very passionate about this. And, you know, as much as, you know, I'm probably not going to buy this, of course, on release. I'm pretty sure I've said that before. I definitely ain't supporting Blizzard by subscribing to WoW anymore. I've... I've gone away from that i'm playing other things i mean heck last night i had to figure out how to link my steam account to my sto account because i hadn't logged into it in like three years and i was trying to update it because i wanted to check that out and found out that they have actually included the dominion as a playable group and dominion ships apparently i guess along with it because why not and it's very very confusing because i haven't touched it in forever <laughs> But uh, personally, I, I'd rather play Final Fantasy XIV and pay money for that than paying anything for Blizzard. But uh, yeah, most of this, of course, just goes into what all has happened with Blizzard, uh, Jay Allen, and other people in in the thing. Uh, you know, of course, you've got the the official trailer right here for uh, for the new one. And uh, they've put in a lot of work. I mean, heck, they even got the original voice actor for Tyrael to come in. And uh, apparently re-record a line or two um, to give it to to fit better with the pace of what they've done as they've redone the cinematics for it. Uh, you know, it doesn't it, it changes. I guess the more of the urgency of the tone of that cinematic from what I, I I saw. You know, because it can be more fluid now. It doesn't have to be as jagged as they used to be, and all this other stuff. And they've been putting a lot of work into this game it just it just really sucks that that money that would go into buying this game goes to blizzard instead of vicarious visions um <laughs> that, that's the only downside to this to, to this particular game right now because they i feel like if blizzard was actually holding the reins of diablo 2 resurrected it would be a trash fire somehow some way because Blizzard just, they, they don't care about their properties like they may have once did. Um, which, of course, is not surprising considering the people who actually cared about it no longer work there anymore for the most part. And those who do, well, there's a lawsuit for a reason, right? <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think, and I will talk to you later. See ya! Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, smash that like button, and always subscribe for more. And of course there are other videos floating around somewhere on the screen, so click one of those and see if you can find something that uh, suits your fancy. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye.